Hi, this is Sam with Trapper Pros, and this here is a wooden cage trap that we've built. We started off with a wooden frame. You can use any dimensions you want, like this is a larger frame for bobcats or other games such as raccoons. We, like I said, put on the frame, and then we put on a wooden bottom. We then wired with staples applied staples across the entire trap, both sides. Next, we put on our top wooden, wooden frame, and obviously our door is just a piece of plywood. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. There's a drilled hole in it. That'll come into play with our pressure plate trigger. I'll now show you our pressure plate trigger. You see it's just a piece of wood hinged down to the bottom with strings on each side. One coming up to our mouse trap on top, which is, this is a rat trap, a mouse trap will work just fine depending on how safe you want to be. Plus we got a spring that's going to hold up the trap so that it's not putting pressure on the rat trap to start with. On the back here we have our bait door with a hook coming down to hang such as a rabbit leg or other other bait that you want to have hanging in the air, feather. It held together by two, two little nails hooked that you would have a, a little clip to hold that together. We'll now show you how she works. So you're going to set your trap, set your rat trap or mouse trap. Then you're going to take your nail that's hooked to the rat trap, put it through a hole in your door. And this is what's going to be holding your door open until the animal triggers the trap. Once the trap is set, this isn't going to blow over. It'll stay, it'll stay still. And now we will show how, how it is triggered. This being your animal, whatever, walking in, and it will step on the, tr the pressure plate inside. That's how your cage trap will work. Thank you.